This week on our Throwback Thursday, we took a special trip down to the RTV6 vault, and it's something we think is poignant, especially this week. Yeah. It was just a few days ago that we were all stunned with the news that the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was being sold by Holman and Company to the corporation owned by racing legend Roger Penske. And so then 35 years ago, RTV6 ran a profile of the grandson of Tony Holman and the man who would be at the center of that sale this week. Our reporter Greg Todd spoke to Tony George during the month of May in 1983. He was only 23 years old at the time, still in college at Indiana State University, and he was being groomed as the future president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Uh, Tony talked to us about upholding his grandfather's legacy, and he also talked about how tough it was growing up in the shadow of that big legacy, especially as a kid in school. You know, they just would make childish remarks, and I took them in childish ways, I guess. I'd say I had a few uncomfortable years, but then I realized in the last three, four years that um, I am in a position of influencing a lot of people, and I need to try and um, represent the family as best I can. An emotional week for him and a legacy for his family. Now, of course, we've, we've come full circle with Tony having to say goodbye to the thousands thousands of his longtime employees and friends and families across the world as that sale happened this week to Roger Penske. So I think they'll be they'll be part of the the event as, as well yeah. because they're still the the home and George family. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll see what happens in that. <laughs>